Oh yeah, let's open up and tour the all new 2022 Forest River Rockwood Geo Pro G19 FBS. Hello and good afternoon everybody. This is Chris with Great Escapes RV Supercenter and it is my pleasure to be showing off this super awesome travel trailer with you guys today. We're gonna walk around the outside, show off some of the cool features on this unit with it closed up. Then we're gonna go onto the roof. Then we're gonna get into the inside of it with the unit all closed up, show you how practical it would be if you had to be parked on the side of the road to maybe use the restroom, catch some Z's, or maybe even cook a meal. How easily accessible is this RV? Then we're gonna take, open it up together and give you a final overlook at this 2022 Rockwood Geo Pro. Thank you so much for joining us today. Let's get into this. So, of course, at the front, nice. Everybody's switching over to this practically. This is so cool. Um, you've got a power tongue jack. This comes in really handy. You also have a built-in convenience light for docking up at night. You got dual 20-pound propane tanks, which you fill upon your purchase, as well as provide you with a battery. You also have an additional slot if you wanted to add in another. This has a nice little uh, diamond guard rock plate on here to help as far as rock chips down the road. You got a fully molded fiberglass front cap on here with an automotive grade front windshield and a nice little LED running light. This is an Asdell camper. I can't express some of the cool things that Asdell is able to do. And for the most part, I mean, as far as a camper goes, just makes it really durable for the long road ahead. This is a really cool build. Um, frameless glass windows. You also have an 11 foot awning with a built-in LED light strip, very cool. Looking down here, you're gonna see you have nice pass-through storage. This is an aluminum substructure, heated and enclosed underbelly. You've got convenient little LED tap lights. You've got some accessories right there. That biggest box is actually gonna be an outdoor griddle by Suburban. Um, the box above it is actually the bracket for it to mount to, and then it comes with a convenient little table and an outdoor uh, griddle spatula to be able to uh, cook up some delicious food for the friends and family. You also have solar on the side, which also can tie in with your 190 watt solar panel on the roof, which is pretty sweet. Simply close this. It's got a nice magnetic catch up there as well. Of course, the frameless glass windows look super well, super awesome. Uh, 20,000 BTU furnace. There's the bracket right there for your suburban cooktop to be able to mount to, as well as that outside um, table. You also have an LP connection right here, a full-size spare tire. Great setup with the Westlake off-road knobby tires, upgraded aluminum rims, tire pressure monitoring system, Dexter axles, the list goes on and on. You got a low point water drain. You also have a section right here to be able to put your sewer hose in there. Also a 110 charging port, very awesome. You also have a section right here when your door is open, you guys can hook that onto there to prevent your door from slamming shut on you. I love this, nice updated little keypad, be able to put your key, to, your codes and stuff in there, be able to have keyless entry. Once again, this is the 19 FBS, front bed with a slide by Forest River. Um, it is built with Asdell on board, RV composite panels, very awesome. You have manual jacks on here, but get you a three quarter inch socket, hook that up to a drill. That's gonna raise and lower much faster than if you had to do that manually. On the back here, upgraded LED lights on the top, bottom, and on the sides. You have an access ladder to get access to your fully walkable roof. Look at the dome style on that. That is incredible. That is just really, really awesome. And of course, then these nice little water spouts that they have help divert the water to run off the side and not onto your RV. I love it. Let's climb up here. Let's see what we got with one hand, like a ninja. Oh my gosh. So you got a low profile Coleman Mach 13.5 AC. Nice little antenna as far as finding channels with also with Wi-Fi and LTE capabilities. A sweet setup with a 190 watt solar panel. Air Siphon 360 ventilation system that basically uses the Venturi effect as we got positive pressure on the outside, negative pressure on the inside creates that vacuum and helps prevent that black water smell from creeping up into your camper. And a sweet setup with a max air vent fan with the rain guard already built into it. That is, cool. that is so cool because in the, or in the fall or in the springtime, you can definitely keep this RV cooled down and not having to constantly use your AC system. Very cool, and it's low profile AC system. I can't get over that, that's sweet. And then you also have a nice little skylight for your bathroom. Or bathroom shower. Let's get down here. It is a hot day. It is literally upper 90 degrees here. I have been doing RV tours 
I'm just enjoying it. Loving showing off these cool RVs. It's a 30 amp service naturally. You also have a section right here for your gray water and your black water tank flushing. You also have an outdoor shower with the hot and cold settings. This is uh, for tank flushing right here. Of course, the opposite side of that beautiful looking off-road tire. Of course, that suspension system on there as well. You could definitely take this out in the middle of nowhere and be able to enjoy a good camping trip. This is the slide out that I was talking to you about. It actually has a couch slide in it. Six gallon hot water heater. You've got cable TV and satellite inputs, city water connection. This is for winterizing. And then you also have a section right here. If you want to carry potable water with you, you guys can carry it with there and then press the button on the inside to pressure water, pressurize it uh, through your water pump. Um, open this, magnetic catch, I love it. You're gonna see you've got the little rolling ball as far as the or rolling wheel, as far as your front jack goes. It's right now currently on a block. You've got the bracket as well. Um, for your griddle and then your griddle and then open this up You got a bunch of other little random things and knickknacks and stuff in here including that spatula I was telling you about very cool and some other stuff as well. You also have one cool setup I can't get over this boom. You got a whole a whole house water filtration system Love it This is a good camper if You go to those areas where you're like hooking up to a shady water spigot. You're like, what am I doing? Well, at least that gives you a little bit more peace of mind. Let's go ahead and open this RV up isn't it beautiful? Man, and it's light too. It's just really cool. Let's go inside. So if you're not following us on YouTube, highly recommend it. I don't claim to know everything in the RV industry. I don't want to know everything. There's a lot of stuff to know. The moment you know it, it's like a phone. Something new comes out. Nice setup with the uh, more ride entry step upgrade. Comes in really handy. Simply pull this clip right here. This is gonna come down touches the ground. Always make sure your sill plate matches up properly so you guys can open and close your door. This is a friction hinge door. I personally, in my opinion, I like the friction hinge doors only because about a month ago I was uh, in an RV opening up one and I had my hand right here on a non-friction hinge door and a gust of wind. It woke me up. I just have to tell you that. <laughs> the Rockwood difference, of course, a lot of stuff I've already mentioned, Asdell construction, six-sided full aluminum frame, frameless glass windows, the list goes on and on and on. I'm not able to cover it all, but of course, your RV training class covers that. We have a private campground that we include for all new and used purchases. And best of all, we hook you up with an RV starter kit with all of the basic essentials to head straight to the campground. Let's go inside and check this RV out and open it up. All right. So I'd have to say, the only downfall with this, of course you guys can hear me, I've got the AC going, it's a little loud. I've got it on its highest setting right now, but it's not too bad. Of course, with the slide closed, you still have access to a lot of your RV in here, which is pretty sweet. I like that quite a bit. Let's go ahead and open that slide though. So if you come over here, this is the opposite end of your convenience center. Of course, checking your battery level, your fresh water, your black and your gray. This is your water pump. When I was telling you about the potable water you wanted to carry with you, that's to pressurize it. This is your water heater, whether you're running off of gas or electric. You can also hit those both at the same time for a quicker recovery time if you're taking multiple showers. You have your tank heaters, which is your 12 volt tank heaters for your, uh, your dumping tanks. Uh, interior lighting, you got your porch light, you've got an awning light, a step light, and your slide out in and out, and your awning retract in and out. You also have the Lippert One Control application you can download on your phone and operate many of these appliances or the, the conveniences of these RVs from the convenience of your phone. You also have a setup with the tire pressure monitoring system, which we help set that up upon the purchase of the RV. Slide out, out, Let's press out. This is the Schwintec slide system. At its fullest extent, the motor's gonna wind down. That lets you know that it's completely open and that's when you need to let off the button. You'll hear it here in just a second, you might. There it goes, just like that. And now you have plenty of room to be able to move around. Of course, the heating ducts are actually mounted in the side panels, which is pretty sweet. You also don't have to worry about them mounted in the floor. So if you maybe have dust or debris or maybe even a pet in here, you don't have to worry about that getting caught up in there. Nice little couch set up on here. This is pretty sweet. Entertain the friends and family. Pull this down, have some drinks. Oh, well, we're tired. So you guys can take this, pull this out, and now that turns into a bed. It'll more conveniently turn into a bed because I just forgot that they actually have the table back here. So there's a table as well that will set up here in the front 
and give you guys um, a little place to eat off of or if you wanted to work out of it, you guys could be able to do that. Very nice. And I'll actually do this. I'll set this up in the 360 tour. Um, but unfortunately, I only have one hand and that kind of takes two hands to set up. So I do apologize for that. But in the 360 tour, I'll definitely have that set up right there to give you guys a much better angle of uh, being able to see this RV. Overhead cabinets, hardwood cabinetry, plenty of pocket storage and stuff in here. It comes in really handy. Here is your solar charge controller for your 190 watt solar panel. Very nice, there is your thermostat. You have a 110 power source, another little section right here for a cup. Of course, this RV is gonna ca have carbon monoxide, smoke detector, fire extinguisher, emergency exits, all of the typical safety features an RV should have. This is a queen size bed that's just been turned sideways. Um, of course, section right here for the emergency exit, as I was mentioning. You have nice privacy blackout curtains as well, and they're slow rise. More overhead compartment storage, IRV technologies, AM, FM, Bluetooth, auxiliary, HDMI, multi-zone selection as well. Very cool, nice sound system, and can't get over it. This is awesome, guys. This is a 12-volt Furion TV and DVD player. Put your DVD player, your DV in there. It's 12 volt. You guys can go off grid camping, be able to have the TV on, entertain the friends and family, not have to rely solely on 110 power. That is pretty awesome. Let's turn it on right now. You've got additional storage features in here. You've got your button right down there for your inverter. Another little drawer right here to be able to have additional storage. There's the compartment storage for your uh, tire pressure monitoring system, um, the manuals for everything in the RV, of course, stainless steel ball bearing drawer glides. You got another 110 power port right here. Awesome. This is the Magic Chef cooktop. It's got a tempered glass insert with a three burner. Very nice. Don't cook on top of this tempered glass insert. It will shatter. It is mainly meant for additional countertop prep space. Of course, this button turns on the light. The lower button turns on the oven light. Put just some chocolate chip cookies in there. Very cool. If you burn in the bacon, you got a nice ventilation fan, convenience light, more overhead storage as well. Can't get over this, check it out. So you buy a Forest River product or uh, this RV and you get unlimited roadside assistance benefits uh, by, powered by SafeRide um, for a year, which is pretty sweet. You also become a frog, which is the Forest River Owners Group. And they have all kinds of memberships, they have activities, they have events, all kinds of stuff up in Elkhart, Indiana. And uh, it's, it's a pretty cool uh, thing to, to check out, especially if you haven't checked it out. Look it up on YouTube, very cool. More storage in here, of course, hidden hinges, LED lighting. You got a one-piece stainless steel sink insert with the vegetable drying rack, very cool. Stainless steel appliances, faucet, Open that up. Oh, I love it. Right there for all your soda pops. Very cool. <laughs> Little uh, uh, organizer for your silverware. You got a nice 12 volt Magic Chef refrigerator and freezer combo. I've only had this thing plugged in. I, I mean, we usually want to do these videos. They're only about 20 minutes into it. I mean, you see the frost even. I mean, that is freezing in there. I definitely could put my perishable items. Not a problem at all. Magic Chef microwave as well as this sweet bathroom. An RV of this size usually gets a plastic toilet, so the fact that they hook you up with a Dometic porcelain, that is a huge thumbs up for me. Very cool. You got a little uh, vanity right here. Also a medicine cabinet. Smell that, of course you don't. That's the Air 360 siphoning vent I was telling you about. Max air vent fan. Also, open this up. And I've explained it in several of my other videos, but I'm not sure why the entire RV industry has not moved over to this because this is such a fantastic setup. You turn on your hot water, hot water is cold. It's wasting water into your gray water. It's just a total waste. With the shower miser system, turn on your hot water, close this valve. The water will recirculate into the system. Once it's hot, this blue sleeve, which is already turning a little bit white because it was so hot in here initially when I came in, it will turn white and then you have instant hot water on demand, saving you from filling your gray tank. That's a huge thumbs up for me. Nice skylight to let some nice ambient light in to help wake you up in the morning. Good shower, nice setup. What a beautiful, beautiful RV. Let's go ahead and close this up. Another cool thing, of course, you got a dome style roof, which is something I really like. And a really critical thing with Rockwood RVs, I mean, a lot of Forest River products I can't get over is simply walk up to here and 
I mean, that is a solid roof. I feel so comfortable with it. I can't get over that enough. So awesome. Last but not least, I have been rambling so much. I appreciate y'all's uh, patience. And of course my stumbling voice. So check this out, beautiful setup. It's an 11 foot awning, plenty of room, entertain the friends and family, have that outdoor griddle going, cook some breakfast up in the morning, nice cup of coffee, and a beautiful Rockwood Geo Pro. Ladies and gents, thank you so much for your time, your patience with me, and the opportunity to do business together. I ask that you please like, subscribe, comment in the section below. If you have an RV that you'd like us to do a tour on, look on our inventory. Let me know in the comment section below. I'll definitely add it to my list. I am here for you. I'm not here other than I just want to be able to show off cool RVs. So I'm here for you. I appreciate y'all's time. Have a great, great weekend. Happy camping. Headed on down the road On a new adventure Wherever we go Thanks to Great Escapes Great Escapes are